this fun summer card I'm going to be using the Cheers is Drinks O'Clock die set and the stamp set to coordinate and also the torn edge nesting dies um, in the label shape. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to create a card base using the nesting dies. It's really easy to do this so I've got some cardstock here in a nice bright yellow and I'm just going to fold that in half and give myself a nice strong score line there and then I'm going to take the nesting die that I want my card to be sized at and um, bear in mind that you've got other dies that are very close that you can use for mats and layers and then I'm going to place this over that score line of the card so overlapping so I've got a good couple of inches there a good few inches that um, will be the hinge for the card don't worry that your shape's going over the edge we're going to fix that in a few moments so just tack that down and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine just bear in mind that if you're using cardstock that's particularly thick, your die may struggle to get through two layers at the same time. So I've gone for a slightly lighter weight cardstock here. So I'm talking about 180 to 200 maximum for this to be able to get through both layers. So just taking the tape away for a second, you can see that we've now got our card base shape starting to come together. Now we want to, of course, complete this frame shape. So I'm going to take a second piece of yellow card, a new piece, and I'm going to cut an entire shape from it, this time with no folding. Um, just cut that out and place that over the top. So I've now got my yellow card base with my panel over the top. I can now stick this directly over the top with a wet glue. So my front panel of my card is double layered but that just helps to strengthen it. And you can do the same at the back if you want to. Uh, I'm not too worried, but you won't see the reverse anyway. Not usually, but it'll still be quite neat. So just lay that over the top and that will dry fairly quickly. And then I've got a full card base there. Now, because of the shape of this card base, whichever way you stand it, you might end up with a little, um, a little bit of a wobble because of the points. So in that case, I'm going to have mine horizontal. So in that case, I'm just going to snip the tiniest of that point just off the end. So when that stands up, there's no wobble. So the next stage for me is to take the die that's slightly smaller than the one I just used and die cut from plain white this time. So you can see we've actually got that lovely distressed edge to our, um, our, our la label die there. Um, it looks really, really pretty actually. So I'm just going to pop this to the side, being my base, whilst I work on the background here. Now there's a number of things that I can um, be doing here, but I want to stamp some images. But I also want to create a nice background here, first of all. So I'm going to take the pale blue ink and I'm just going to, with my foam applicator, I'm just going to ink an area here. So I think blue and yellow together are really lovely, fresh colors. But just, this is where my stamped images are going to sit. Like so. Just a little bit. I might actually change my blue and go with a little bit of a green over the top to brighten that even more. Ah oh yes, that's a better colour. Now with these foam blenders, you don't get any harsh lines. You get nice smooth edges, you're blending away like so. And just to add some interest to this, I'm going to take my water spray bottle and I'm actually going to, I've just filled this up so I need to pump the water through. I'm just going to spritz over that ink there. Give that just a few seconds to start reacting there with the ink underneath and then lift off some of the colour. I'm going to do this a couple of times. I'm also going to spritz into my hand and flick onto the ink and this gives me larger blobs of colour distressing. Now if I just lift that up, 
hopefully if I hold it at the right angle you can see the effect it's having it's starting to mottle the ink color there and um, the longer you leave it the the paler um, the color underneath will go so each time I lift that up and we get that water splash effect there so just one more time with a few drips just to be really precise link them down there now something else you can be doing with this as well just to while that's sitting there I'm just going to take a little bit of ink onto my mat I'm just going to spritz with water here and take a paintbrush and flick just so that we've also got that colour the same colour around the edges a little too so now I just need to um, allow that to dry off before I go any further so there's my background that I've just finished off and that's all dried so the colours faded slightly but I've got that water look to it and I've just added some foam tape to the back for in a little while and the next thing I need to do is stamp some of these stamps here so we've got cheers it's drinks o'clock and I love this so we are going to do a lemonade themed image here just with two of the stamps I'm going to be using an acrylic block but you can use a stamping platform if you want to so just doing one at a time just to make sure that you're not um, you're not getting more pressure on one than the other it's safer to stamp one image at a time I'm going on to the smooth cardstock and I'm just to make sure everything coordinates I am using the same cardstock as I the one I cut my label from so that's the um, picture with the I can clearly see there's some lemons in there um, amongst other things I'm sure some ice cubes some mint leaves and then I've got my cup as well in fact I might do two of the cups I like to do images in threes where I can um, I find it's more pleasing to the eye if you've got three rather than two or an, an odd number so now I've got those I just need to color these in now these are going to be colored in um, quite quickly because a lot of it of course would be quite clear um, I have a yellow here and I also need a green for the leaves let's go quite bright green now I'm using alcohol pens um, I'm going to do the leaves first I really enjoy colouring in these images from Daisy May because they are so much fun. There's so so much detail in them. They're really, really beautiful. So just going in first with the leaves that are in there. Then I'm going to go in with the um, lemons. So nice and dark rind and then little dots around for the inside of the lemons and of course this doesn't have to be lemons this, these could be oranges it could be grapefruit it's entirely up to you so now everything's colored in all I need to do is take the coordinating dies and lay those over tape them down each one and then die cut them to cut them out perfectly without the need for getting your scissors out and doing any fussy cutting so now I can think about bringing everything together and I'm going to start with a sentiment on my background here and I'm going to use when life gives you lemons make lemonade which is of course absolutely perfect for this so just carefully stamping on here now I'm stamping over where I put my foam tape And what I also want to do is make the word lemonade really stand out and bring that yellow in from the background. So I'm going to second stamp this, just the base really. So stamp the word lemonade and then I'm going to cut that out and mat that onto the same colour yellow as we used for the background. Now a little tip for you if you're like me and you can't cut straight is purposely cut an irregular shape so rather than a rectangle I've 
cut this um, this well it is in a regular shape it's not a rectangle at all it hasn't got right angles but it's a fun shape and then with the yellow when I attach this I'm actually going to also cut this in an odd shape um, but slight, slightly different so it's not going to be perfectly matted and layered it's just going to be more fun um, but that helps avoid that um, worry of cutting if you're cutting by hand cutting things perfectly even so just sticking that down with my wet glue and then I'm going to make sure each of the lines around this are a little uneven like so there we go so I've got my fun border and I haven't had to worry about things being straight I'm just going to pop that over the top of the stamped word here and that'll just make that really stand out just making sure you're covering up the word completely there we go make lemonade now I've done my stamping I can take off the foam backing I can put that to make sure your cards open in the right way round. I can place this onto the base now. That's just moved a little bit. That will dry. And then I just need to take some foam tape or some foam pads and place these images on. So nice wide tape means less cutting, less peeling. Just one large piece is enough. Here I'll have that one. There we go. So when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And that's a really lovely card to send somebody if they're maybe having a hard time. Um, but alternatively, with a different sentiment, it could be an invitation to a garden party.